A set of exam scores is normally distributed with a mean of 74 and a standard deviation of 4. We're told to use the empirical rule to complete the statements below. To begin, notice I've already set up the normal distribution curve below, where we have the mean of 74 at the center, and the horizontal axis is scaled by the standard deviation of 4. The first statement is approximately 95% of the exam scores lie between which two scores. From the empirical rule, approximately 95% of the data falls plus or minus two standard deviations from the mean. So for our data, notice how 82 is two standard deviations above the mean, and 66 is two standard deviations below the mean. And therefore, approximately 95%, which is represented by this area between the two scores, lie between 66 and 82. Next, approximately what percent of exam scores are less than or equal to 74? Well, notice 74 is at the center of the distribution, and therefore the percent of exam scores less than or equal to 74, represented by this area here, is approximately 50%. Next, approximately what percent of exam scores are less than or equal to 70? Well, notice 70 is one standard deviation below the mean, which is here. So this area represents the approximate percent of exam scores less than or equal to 70. And we know from the empirical rule, approximately 68% of the data falls plus or minus one standard deviation from the mean, which in our case would be between 70 and 78. But due to the symmetry of the bell curve, half of the percent is on the left of 74 and half is on the right and half of 68% is 34%, which means approximately 34% of the data falls between 70 and 74, and approximately 34% of the data falls between 74 and 78. And we also know approximately 50% of the exam scores are less than or equal to 74, which means to find the approximate percent less than or equal to 70, we take 50% and subtract 34%. And 50% minus 34% is equal to 16%. Next, we're asked to find the approximate percent of exam scores less than or equal to 82. Notice 82 is two standard deviations above the mean. The approximate percent of exam scores less than or equal to 82 is represented by this area here. Well, again, we know approximately 50% of the exam scores are less than or equal to 74. We also know approximately 34% of the exam scores are between 74 and 78. And we also know approximately 95% of the data falls plus or minus two standard deviations from the mean or half of the percent is on the left of 74 and half is on the right, half of 95% is 47.5%, which means to find the percent of exam scores between 78 and 82, we take 47.5% and subtract 34%. And 47.5% minus 34% is equal to 13.5%. So approximately 13.5% of the exam scores fall between 78 and 82. And notice how this graph here can be helpful because it does show the percentages between standard deviations above and below the mean. So the approximate percent of exam scores less than or equal to 82 is equal to 50% plus 34% plus 13.5%, which is equal to 97.5%. And for the last statement, approximately what percent of exam scores are less than or equal to 78? You notice 78 is one standard deviation above the mean. So the approximate percent of exam scores that are less than or equal to 78 is represented by this area here. And once again, we know approximately 50% of the exam scores are less than or equal to 74. And we also know approximately 34% of the exam scores are between 74 and 78. And therefore the approximate percent of exam scores 
less than or equal to 78 would be 50% plus 34%, which is 84%. I hope you found this helpful.